Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I hope you've got wonderful plans. I hope it's a lovely day wherever you happen to be. It's a bit grain, dr grain drizzly. I was saying grey and grizzly. That was what I was when I woke up this morning, grey and grizzly. Um, and then I did my hair and I'm not quite so grey, but still a little bit grizzly. And so I do hope you're going to uh, have uh, having a lovely evening last night, um, but you've got some nice things planned today. Obviously, in between watching us on the shows today, because we've got some great things to show you. Um, we've got all sorts of different things over the weekend. I'm here all weekend, and I'm also with the lovely Corinne all weekend. Hi, Corinne, how are you doing? Good morning, I'm really well, thank you. Yes, we've got so much planned there's some really different bits and pieces and we're going to start off this morning with our glitter pens and our cascading card kits you couldn't get two more extremes could you no and that's what it's going to be all about we're going to show you how to use everything we've got on the shows excellent and of course it's play your crafts fight straight it away is. which we we're both quite competitive aren't we you yes. know i think the last show we were on you know <gasps> i did i did squeal when i i won last time oh I you, had to, you time. had to say that point didn't that you out. yeah you just I, I wanted to point time. that out okay you know yeah um, thank we you. do like we do like to be competitive so we're going to have a great, great fun and games um with the game that we've got over today which is um well i think everyone's going to enjoy it because it's a bit of a, a bit of a mashup is what i'm going to say just give you a little bit of a clue as to what you're going to be doing there so do message in if you've got any questions about any of the products we've got on today um any questions about you know what we're what, let us know what you're getting up to um, what you're going to what we've got planned let us know if you've got any of the sparkle pens and show us um, the kind of things that you've been doing with them you're using them in a slightly different way you know they're using them in a way that we've perhaps not thought about and um, so do message in lots of people are coming in to say hello Julie Barlow Lynn Almstead sweet imp hi from across the grove Lynn, Lynn Blackledge says good morning um, we've got Carol Beth and saying good morning everyone Sarah Brown hello everyone hoping you're all well sending hugs from Melbourne Australia um, Nicole says a good morning looking forward to the template library that'll be coming out next and Suzette says good morning from a freezing minus 41 what? that's cold I must be Fahrenheit yeah it's Fahrenheit bit, yeah, okay. But it's minus, still... That is really... That, that is quite chilly. Yeah, it's, it's still about minus five in centigrade. Wow. Yeah. That is cold, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It, it's, it's definitely a lot warmer here. Um, uh, it was eight or nine on the car when I was driving in this morning. Yeah, not so bad. No. So definitely better. Um, Sarah Brown says, um, Crafters TV, hello to you all and all the gang behind the scenes. Hope you're doing well. Um, who's with us for this show? It's actually Grace and we've got Charlotte and we've got Johnny in today. Oh, not Johnny, John. John. Um, we've got John in today. Johnny, got so used to saying Johnny, but John's here today this, this weekend. And um, Christy Mahoney says, good morning, everyone. Go team FB. And good morning from Leicester for Scanny Wife and Michelle Nitz for you says, good morning all. So do keep messaging in and let us know what you're going to be getting up to. Um, we've got um, lots of the, the glitter pens. If you've not seen those before, um, they've got, we've got glitter pens and sparkle pens on the show today. Um, so we're going to show you um, what we're going to be doing with those in a little bit of time. And as Corinne was saying, we're also going to be talking about the cascading card kit as well. The first thing we're going to look at are the glitter pens here. So you've got a section of different kinds of glitter pens at the top, all different colours, including some clear ones. Corinne, you're going to show us what you can do with these, aren't I you? I certainly am. So here is one of my sparkle pens. Now, this one hasn't been opened, and I can see it hasn't been opened because it's got this little green band around that. So before I use my sparkle pen for the first time, I just take that little band off, I screw it back up so it was to there, and now I'm going to screw it there, and you just feel it just burst that seal and then you open it up and then you've got a lovely clean nib it's it's um it's coated so all you need to do is just break the nib and then you'll see it says on the barrel push and i know leanne said she wishes she didn't write the word push on there right. she'd put something like gently squeeze so you <laughs> gently squeeze and then oh there you go look at that can you see flowing down that nib it doesn't fill this barrel so it'll just come down the nib and oh there can see a bit and then you get to this and then oh, you look can at look at that isn't that absolutely gorgeous i mean that's very wet i've let a lot come out actually i tell you what i didn't do is i didn't give it a really good shake so the first time you use it you should have shake it's right. been shook but i didn't shake it as hard as it should have done but even so as that's drying can you see how much that's sparkling? Yeah. Really is. So if I shook, shook it a little bit more and gave it a squeeze, there we go. Now the sparkle's really coming through and really, 
mixing up. So you've got a barrel full of ink and this like mica powder in there. So you just shake it to wake it and then use it like that. So that's just one of my pinks. So now that's used, I take the brand off and then I've got it. Now, these are a water-based medium. So if I'm going to be using these, I need to use a waterproof ink pad. Now look at this, isn't this absolutely gorgeous? This is our Let Love Grow stamp. And I'm just going to stamp all over this with my waterproof ink. Now if I did it with my alcohol proof ink and then started colouring, it would just muddy. It would right. go really muddy okay. and bleed. So you don't want to do that. So you know. Crafters Companion make it so much easier for you. We give you the ink pad and we, you know, we lay them waterproof ink pad and then you know it's going to be suitable for any of your mediums that are water based. So I've got watercolour card on here and all I've done is I've just taped it. Now this is a cross between a washi tape and a masking tape. I use it quite a lot. It's just one that I've had for a good couple of years and the roll's still going. So all I'm going to do is then just stamp across there with my rocker block and there we go you can see I've got that lovely lovely image and then it's about getting the pens so all I'm going to do is give it a little shake I'll remember to shake it this time and then now when you lay it down you're going to get all of the sparkles so if I lay down oh that's quite dark so what I want to do is I want to drag that out so I can put it around here I'm just going to bring it around here and just bring that round so I'm just sort of thinking, where is it going to be darkest? So what you can do is, there's a couple of ways of dragging out the colour. So put that down here, just like that. Now, I can drag it out with, I've got a pot of water there and a brush. And then I can drag it out with the water. Can you see? That's doing that. But what I'm doing there is I'm diluting the sparkle, if you think about it. I'm not adding any more of that lovely mica powder. Yes, mm -hmm. the colour is toning down, so I can actually see the stamp underneath. So it's, you know, it's up to you, so I can drag that. You see, it's just like water colouring with your aqua pens or anything like that. We can drag that colour out. So I'm thinking I want it to be darkest round the watering can because that's where the shadow's going to be. But if I want... So, yeah, I've still got a lot of intense sparkle there and the sparkle here is a little bit less. Mm -hmm. So what I could do is I could get my clear sparkle pen and I could just... Let me just bring in just make sure it's flowing just bring in that scrap of card just here just to get it there we go I've got that flowing and then I could do it here now it's doing exactly the same but what I'm doing now is I'm dragging it out with more sparkle so can you see I don't know if, how much you can see the difference that side's a bit duller this side the sparkle has continued so I've continued to dilute it down but what I've done is I've maintained that level of sparkle so I just wanted to show you that so you, you know you've got the choices. It's up That's to clever. you. There we go. We can do that. And if I wanted to, I could actually just go over that one with my sparkle pen so that I've got plenty of sparkle. And the whole point is I just want that to be nicely coloured there. And it just looks, you know, just like, um, just like it's coloured in. And then we can do the same with our watering can. Now, I don't have a grey, but I do have a black. So I'll just put a little bit. Let me just give that... I must remember to just keep remembering to give them a little bit of a shake. There we go. Give that a bit of a shake. I can hear, can you hear the ball bearing? Yeah. Just mixing it all up. And there we go, it's flowing lovely now. And I'll do exactly the same. So I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to add a little bit of this black. Looks very intense, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly get my clear one and then I'm just going to drag that out. Can you see straight away? It's got a lovely sort of gunmetal grey mm. that would look, you know, you could imagine a watering can, that colour, couldn't you? So yeah, it definitely. It really works. So just bring that out. And then once you've got the first colour laid down, what I should have done actually is dried off that brown a little bit. I'm just trying to get that through and show you. So what we can do is just keep diluting it down. If you've got one of your rotating... Um, totally Tiffany rotating boards that's going to work perfectly because obviously you don't want to lay your hand no. across where you're done because it's quite wet and I can just drag up more colour I can even come in with more if I wanted to I can pick it up off my um, card there look you see if I want to add more colour um, you could just work it just like you would 
your any of your water-based mediums and I'm just colouring this here as I said with my clear just so that I can maintain that sparkle if I didn't want it as sparkly then all I would need to do is just use a brush and some water so we can come down here just and then I just need to I'm just going to do it sort of in a watercolour wash I'm not going to worry too much about going in with too close looks really one. effective it does doesn't mm. it it's just like a watercolor um with with you know with just um with a nice amount of sparkle just trying to thin that out a little bit and i'll pick some of that up to come around the handle and then before i go in because i'm going to my next colors are going to be nice bright colors all i'm going to do is just get my heat gun and just set dry it off it will dry very quick because i've not got thick layers on here we can just dry it off just make sure and it's not can you see how much that's sparkling if i can just can you, look oh, oh yeah there. isn't that amazing? and you're right there. that works perfectly with that um watering can being that kind of you want that kind of gun metal gray kind yeah. of look exactly oh, yeah don't worry about the um heat gun dulling it it doesn't at all it really doesn't and then i'm going to come in with um another color so i'm just going to each time i'm just going to have a little my scrap of paper just here so it's entirely up to you oh there's a lot of ink there I've, i don't even think i've squeezed it i think that's just from transit just come down and then we can just pop the color in on the green just there just oops just like that and we can just add in that color and once you've done all those pieces if you get if you feel like it's a little bit um dark all you need to do and the other thing you can do if I get a piece of, is you can always blot it just like you do with your watercolors and you, you know I can even pick up a little bit of green off there but just remember if you pick it up with a paintbrush with water on you will dilute the, the sparkle down once I've done that let's just go in with a little bit yellow I'm not going to do them all I'll just do some and then because I want to show you another technique as well so I can come in with the yellow and then I can just pick up some of you know, pick up those gorgeous flowers just like that let's just do those that's ones. a great stamp for um using all these techniques on, it isn't is it? isn't it lovely oh and then let's go in with a bit of pink there we go this one's a sort of apricotty pink let's just put a little bit on there and then i can just blend it out if you need if I was doing picking it up to paint, I would probably do it more onto my glass mat. I was using that just to start them off. Mm -hmm. So if you pick them up off there, you're going to get even more intensity of colour. So just keep working it round. You know, if you feel like the brush is going in with a little bit too intense, then just use a separate paintbrush. Works perfect. You know, there's all the different colours. You know, you can pick any colour you want. A lovely bit of blue there. And then I can even come in just like that. Can you see how gorgeous is that? So you just carry on doing that. And then what I'm going to do now, just make sure that's nice and dry. I would finish colouring that. I have got one that's completely coloured, but I just want to make sure those bits are dry. And keeping that um, masking tape on. Now, all I've done here is, have you ever seen our mask it roll? It's a Spectrum Noir one. I've got it here. It's just a roll of low-tack sticky adhesive. Okay, so it's like the kind of glue you'd get on like a poster sticky note. Yes, post -it note it very much so. And all I've done is stamped over that with this and then just roughly fussy cutted it out. Because all I want to do is cover that up. Okay. So once I've done that, I'm then just going to come in, just pick one or two of my colours. So I'm going to put a little bit on here. Just like that and then with my water sprayer I'm just going to whoop, come on which way there we go give them a little bit of a spritz okay and then with this now remember I've just masked that off so I've protected what's underneath I can then come in and pick up that color Ooh. can you see now don't worry it's gone over there really doesn't matter because we've cut we've protected it yeah so we can then dry that now my the only tip I could give you is dry everything off in between you can just see a little bit of brown smudging where that um, brown's just put on there but that's fine 
while that's doing that, I'll, for speed, I shall dry that and clear that up. We can multitask here. There we go. So that's dried that enough. And let's go in with a little bit of yellow. We're going to do exactly the same. Put some bits on. You can spend a lot longer being more controlled mm -hmm. with this. But again, we're just going to spritz it a little bit just to make it start to run. I haven't got much colour down there. So let's just... You can, you know, even control. It's up to you how much you control where you want the colour to go. Come on, I'm just trying to get some down there. There we go. Can you see? Looks lovely, doesn't it? Mm, I love and, that idea. And then we can dry that off. I'll do one more colour. Let's do a little bit of the blue. You've got to be prepared to get mucky fingers. You're going to get... You are, it is going to go on your hands. Well, let's just give that a shake while that's... Does it wash off fine? Oh, really easy, because right. water-based. Right, it's so water-based medium, so it will wash off. There we go. Just draw that. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit more of the blue. Just... Oh, I like how that's splatted. There we go. We can do it like that. And then, again, let's just do a light mist over that. There we go. And then we can come in with the blue and pick up those bits. I've gone quite light with the blue. There we go. So you just keep working. Now, it, when you've got that over the top, it looks a little bit strange. Let's clear that up. I've been doing a lot more mixed media recently and it yeah. does look, it's a great thing to do. So we can just dry that off. I'm not going to dry it, bone dry it, just enough so that I don't smudge it. Yeah. Can you see how quickly it dries? Yeah. And then when I reveal that, can oh, you see how I've now, I haven't mudded up that. So then if we then peel that off, we've got the perfect border that all the way around. Perfect. Doesn't that look lovely? Yeah, it looks now, really good. Here's one that I've actually just finished and you can see how perfect it looks mm. once you add it together. And then all I would do to make that into my finished card is I've put it onto the black, couple of black pearls. Now this is the simplest card that you could put together, but I think it's really, really effective. If you think to yourself, oh, I'm not an artist, I can't colour, I can't paint, you can all do these things. Now to that stamp set, there is a happy birthday stamp. So I would just, on a little bit of foam tape, pop that just there, and then that, to me, is the perfect sparkle. Look at the sparkle. Oh, that's lovely. Good, isn't it? I really like that technique. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, fun. lots of people enjoying that. So this is all um, by using the sparkle pens that we have from Spectrum Noir. Um, we've got a set of um, five that we're showing you here. Um, the ones in the middle are the clear ones, but you've got all the brights, all of those different colours that Corinne's been using. So these are your Spectrum Noir sparkle pens. Lots of people messaging in saying how much they love that um, cool technique um, it's from Sissy Hastings. Anne Fleming says, good morning, ladies. I'm so glad I'm, wa I'm awake this morning. You're not normally awake this time of the morning. I was going to phone my mum and then I realised my mum won't be up this early. <laughs> um, she might be up now if you're watching mum. Hi. Um, no, I am sort of making you think that everyone think that you're, you're lazy and you're still in bed. But, you know, half past eight in the morning, I didn't think she'd be awake. Christy Mahoney says it's minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit in upstate New York. York, which is about minus 28.9 centigrade. Oh, wow. wow. That, that's, that, I mean, that's, I, that's, that's crazy. Yes, you can't speak, can you? No, I can't, because it's too cold. <laughs> I'm just thinking how freezing it must be. Um, I don't remember whenever it's, whenever it's ever been this cold out. That sounds awful. Um, Linda says, are we going to have a John sighting today? Possibly. Possibly. John will pop in a little bit later. Rachel says, lovely day here in South Australia. Love the cool weather in the summer. And Shadaya says, I love your dress, Corinne. And oh, yes, it's you. on the right, uh, the right side. Yeah. Um, we're, we're, we're both talking about your lovely dress this morning because it does look really, really good. And Shadaya said, also said, it's extreme cold warnings on the radar here. Um, my husband's friends last night, visited last night and slept over because it was too cold. I mean, I don't think we realise quite the extremes of weather you get elsewhere because you know, here it's just... 
you know, occasionally cold, occasionally really hot, but generally somewhere in the middle. Um, it's one of those places, I always think that this time of year, I never really know where I need to bring a coat or not. No. You know, it's one of those kinds of times. Do I, I've got a cardigan under here, I'm not entirely sure. I keep thinking, should I put it on, should I take it off? Who knows? Um, Michelle Knits for You says, um, shake it up, baby. She was, she was singing uh, when you were shaking, so oh, that's remember right, to um, shake it all up. Um, so lots of people, oh, Christy Mahoney says, gorgeous, Corinne. Um, looks very pretty. I love the sploshes. Um, Carol, Carolyn says, oh, my God, that's amazing. Can't wait to try that background technique. It was, a, it was very easy, wasn't it? But yeah. actually so effective, so effective and achievable for everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You so, all you need is a glass mat and your pens and some water and you can do that too. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. And I think that's something I'm going to give a whirl as well. I need to get some of the glitter pens. Um, Amanda Bennett says, very good technique and great finished card, Corinne. Then Harvey says, beautiful card. Um, Christine Mahoney says, both of you look beautiful. Thank oh, you very, very much. Kind of you. Thank you, Christine. Um, uh, Thea says, I only use the clear ones, but I have black, gold and silver of those. Um, I mean, they are so, they're such a vibrant colour, yeah, all of those. They certainly are. very highly pigmented, aren't they, they? They are so highly pigmented, which is why you saw I was at some points picking up the, the ink because it was too much. If you've only got the clear ones, tune in at two o'clock and I'm going to show you how you can use them with your aqua pens. So Ooh. don't think you can only do it clear. We'll mix them with the aqua pens and then basically the world's your oyster. Fantastic. We're going to get started on the game. Um, so I think what we're doing on this game is there's a mashup of faces. Yeah. Um, Am I YouTube and you Facebook? Is that right? Do you know I can never remember? Yeah. No. Am I I write did you say I'm on, fa on Facebook? Yeah, on Facebook. I'm going to write that. I, I think you're right. Writing it on the corner yeah. is really quite useful because I, I just forget. Yeah. And hopefully I won't muck it up like I did last time by giving the wrong answer because I got completely confused. <laughs> um, if you watch that. Um... Yeah, you don't have to create a name for the new person. No, OK. You've got well, to find that, the that could be quite entertaining. Yeah, that it? could you be, know, couldn't we'll... it? That ne could be the next week's next game. game. <laughs> next game. So hopefully you're all ready. You've got your glasses on. You can see your computer screen. Yep. And we're going to get started with the first round I of the game. I will do my best face Facebook and then five people on Facebook might win or yeah or you if, if you win then five people on yes yeah that's right yeah yeah exactly yeah you're f five people for YouTube five people Facebook for me um I won't win just putting that out there I'm um, so I'm sorry I apologize for everybody on Facebook so they're going to be um images um with two people's faces mashed up and you've got to work out who the two people are okay. so that's what we're going to be doing here make sure you comment because if you don't comment you can't win yeah exactly Okay. Oh! Right, now, I know oh, who okay. one is. <laughs> In fact, from here, it looks like somebody we used to work with on a different channel. So who's the other person? I reckon this looks like somebody we both used to work with. Oh, I remember the picture being done. Um... I'm going to go. I'm having a guess. I mean, I think I can. I think I recognise the jacket. So that's one person I recognise from the jacket. Okay. Um, I think. I, I think. I think we're there. Should we turn okay. them around? Everyone right. ready? I've gone. Me and you. Yeah. That's what I think it is. I think it's me and you. Yeah. It is. There we go. You see, <laughs> I knew it was me, but it's just the mouth. I knew the mouth wasn't mine. Right. One each. <gasps> that was easy. They had to put one of me and you. Yeah, in, they didn't would. They? Yeah. Okay. okay, next one. Oh, oh I know. I'm going to have to go really, really is. close because I can't see. I th well, we know who one is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me just go and. It's quite, I think I know who the other person it's is. It's quite difficult. We, we need it full screen, I think. I mean, I'm going to guess. Oh, now I've just changed my mind. Oh, I'm going to have to go. I think I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Obviously, we know, what, we know. I think we all know who that first person or what one of the people is. We know where we? the hairs come from. Yes, yeah, we do. Okay. Okay. Ready? I have got Sarah and Ben. Me too. That's why I've put Sarah and Ben. Yes. yes. Excellent. Well, it's amazing how it's really how different people look. Yeah, when you take it? it away and you yeah. go, well, yeah, there's that bit. OK. Lots of you getting that right. Um, yeah, we've got quite a few people getting that right. Um, lots of people thinking how funny this game is. I do think <laughs> it's quite amusing. I think we should keep the pictures afterwards. 
Okay. Uh, maybe we should have. You no, know, as Ben had all those photographs done with. Yeah. You know, we'll we'll sign them, but the two people have to sign them. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if you like that, let us know, and we'll see if we can organise that. <laughs> okay. Next one. Oh. <laughs> Well, like, it, one, well, I know one of the one is really easy, isn't it? But the I know who the first one is. That's easy. Oh, oh, I'm finding that quite difficult. I think it's. I think it is. Okay, I think. I don't know. You don't know yet either, do you, Charlotte? You do, you do know. know. Okay, hopefully okay, you're getting you getting this right. I mean, I think we, we know we know one for sure, don't okay. we? Okay, I think it's Debbie R and I Craig. Oh, I've put both Debbies. It does both Debbies. Debbies. Oh, got oh. That one wrong. That's quite. That's oh, quite. A, right. You yeah, we've had um, a few people say two Debbies, Debbie and Michelle. Quite a few people saying Debbie and Michelle um, for that one. This, this is quite difficult, isn't it? Yes. Right. Next one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got a moustache? <laughs> who has a who has a who has a moustache like that? Well, me if I don't get keep on top of my waxing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, Who well, it's obviously it's obviously one. Yeah, one's easy. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to come a bit looking. I'm really sorry for you, uh, us both coming and peering at the camera, but we can't see. It's quite. It's about three meters away from us, and it's difficult to tell. I mean, <sighs> who's had a moustache? Oh, but they all had a moustache at one point, didn't they? Did they? You see, if I cover up the... I've put the bottom, you can see, but... I'm going to have to guess on this one. I don't really know. Well, here's hoping it's two men. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go... Ooh, I don't know. All right, what do you do? Yeah. I've gone Ben and John. I've done Ben and Craig. Oh, oh, well done, you. You're beating me hands down. Two, four. Uh, so far, so far. OK, last one. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> it's, it's just me. It's just me. Yeah. Right, OK. Oh, I that's why I don't like when I wake up. <laughs> I was saying this morning, if I, if I don't um, put my hair back in a bun when I go to bed, I wake up and my hair is enormous. You think of Diana Ross in her heyday, that is how my hair is if I don't put it back in a bun. Um, Who's the moustache? Okay. So when was that picture done with the bunny ears? It must have been last, last year for Easter. I don't I've not, even remember. I've not <laughs> got the. I've not got the bottom one yet. Um, so I, oh, actually, I think. Oh, maybe I'm going to change my mind. I wonder whether it is. I don't know. Oh, are they all um, Current. the craft experts and presenters, or are they crew as well? Okay. Okay. On screen, All right, I'm going to change that then. I'm going to go back to my original idea, which was this one. Oh, I don't, I'm doubting it now. Oh. Okay. Hey. Becky and Ben. I've put Becky and Craig. That was my other one. Yeah, you got uh, it. I wasn't sure. Because I thought it could be Becky and Johnny. Because, um, you know, Johnny had a well done, for you. a bit, didn't he? Lots of people got How that right. How can they take a picture that is so pretty and make it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, loads of people got that right. A couple of people said Craig and Debbie, uh, but most people, I think, got Craig and uh, Becky. 
which is me. <laughs> was that the last one? Have we got one it more? Was. That was it. That's it. Right. Five, okay. two. Okay, I'm sorry, YouTube. I apologise now. There we go. I'm not competitive at all, am I? Um, I hope you're all enjoying that. It's, it's, um, I think it's one of those games that's really quite useful to be able to um, mash them up because it, you do so. People look so different. You they know? do. You take people's sort of hair away or their glasses or something like that, and they look completely different. Yeah. You know, I, I was saying I'm going to get myself a wig. I'm going to start wearing a, a dark wig oh, because it's so different yeah. to what I, I normally look like and I wouldn't have to worry about doing my hair. Exactly. <laughs> so I always think it's good. Now, next thing we're going to look at is a cascading card kit. So this can make um, 20 cards in here. If I show you some of the um, boards very quickly, if I show you one first of all so you can see um, the kind of thing that we're going to be doing. Corinne's going to be showing us um, what you can do with this but these are all um, little pieces that you just sort of um, poke out or pull out and they've already been die cut in order to make these fantastic cards. So Corinne, what are you going to be making with this one? Right, I am going to make this true to, to, the, to the design. When we come to do the craft along later, it's going to be very different, but this is a card true to design. So what you need to do is you need to decide which colour you're going to do, because I think there's four or five colours in the pack, and then you need to get the two sides. So as you can see, I've got a left and a right side. And then you just need to pop that. I've already started popping these out. But all you need to do, look, you can see how easy they pop out. So they're all pre-die cut, and then you've got the little slits on here. So if I then pop this one out, oops, I've got small bits stuck on there. There we go. I just poked some of them out. Now, you could, there are more floral elements than you will need per card. Um, and that's why when you see the craft along later, you'll see how easy it is. And then all you need to do, look, look how easy they pop out of here. So we can just pop out all the other. And what I love is it's also got pattern on the back. So when you're making your project, it's going to look as good from the rear as it is from the front. But these are absolutely brilliant. If you want quick cards to be able to just pop together, then these are going to be brilliant. And as I'll show you later, you can also take these into other projects as well to make them, you know, if you need a little bit more complicated. Now, what I would tend to do is pop all the bits out. And then what I would do is have a little bag inside my card kit and all the bits from this one that I didn't use I'd put together and all the bits from the next one you know I'd, I'd keep them stored maybe by colour or you know card so I've just caught that one let me just take that they bit off they are beautiful colours they are this that is lovely a sort of soft pink with almost like a dark teal teal yeah, yeah it's lovely it really is so once you've got these you can see everything is die cut so you've got your left and your right whichever way you want now, what you, where you can see they're different is, on this one, you've got bottom, top, bottom for your slits, and on this one, you've got top, bottom, top. So they are the reverse. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter even if you turn them round. Obviously, it's still one is one and one's the other. And all I'm going to do then is fold them on the score line. Now, I've got myself a bone folder and I can't find it now. So all I'm going to do is reinforce those. And it doesn't matter which way round you do them. So we can then pop these. All I'm doing is reinforcing those score lines. And then what we need to do is bring them together. So I just want to go back that way. That's it. Just turn them around. And then you slot together. So I'm going to go into there. And then I'm going to take this one. And you can see that slots into there. The hardest one is going to be your last one. But how quick did that slot together? Yeah. And that's my card. Absolutely perfect. And look at how flat it will fold. If I turn that round, perfectly flat. And then it's just about decorating it up. You've got some lovely big pieces. If you wanted to, these could go over the top. And well, let's put that there. Now, what I, what I like is to sort of anchor this back one down, because you can still anchor it down and the front will come out. So that's perhaps what we're going to do. And I'm going to work with my um, 3D glue gel. But uh, another good one to do with this, because it's a coated cardstock, is your hot glue gun. Right. That works really well. So if I put that one on the back there, I'm now elongating this. So just make sure that's straight. And then it's just picking up what you want. So let's have a look at what sentiments I've got. That's where I would normally start. So I can have... Oh, itchy. I can just pop whatever I want. So let's go, hello, beautiful, and for an amazing friend. So I'm going to put amazing friend on the front. And then all I tend to do is just shape them a little bit using my hands. 
we can pop that one and I'm going to pop that on the side. So I'm going to avoid the join now so okay. that it, it still will bend. And then we can pop this one. Let's pop that one just there. Just give it a little bit of a shape. I do think it looks nicer if you do shape them ever so slightly. We can put that one just These seem there. very Victorian to me. It, the, the it has, to yes, it, I know what you mean. And then Is let's go... Now, this one I'm going to pop in the middle, but I still want it to, to bend. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the glue down one side. You see, just put that there. So when you've popped it in, it will then just adhere to one side and stick. And then just keep building it up. Now, I have got my um, ball tools and mat at the side of me if I wanted them. But I think for now, I'm just going to just put these on. And you can even create decoupage with them if you wanted to. So if I just shape this one and then shape this one if you wanted to. They're not always like a perfect match, but I sometimes think that looks quite nice. We can pop that on just there and then we can just pop this on just here and look at how opulent it's the opulence I mm. think with these that that I just absolutely love I'm going to come in with a little bit of the pink and let's let's stick to the darker pink um now you'll find you don't need all of the pieces by any stretch of the imagination but you can put in as much or as little as you want. You certainly That's, get plenty, don't you? You do, don't you? And then just be your own flower arranger. So you can see I'm just creating beautiful, beautiful arrangements. And then we can pop that one. And then just keep going and building up. I should really start with the bigger ones first, shouldn't I? Let's just do that. Oh, more glue. That's so very pretty and great for someone that um, perhaps is starting out with um, paper yes. craft um, or wants to do something that's just, you know, just quick and easy to create yeah. something. Um, Absolutely. So, so looks so complicated, so intricate, but actually very easy to put together. It really is. And, you know, great if you want to, you still want to craft, but you're going away because you just need, basically all you need is a couple of sheets of the card for each card and... Um, and then some glue, your glue of choice. And like I say, it's up to you whether you choose to use um, 3D glue like I'm doing. Because I'm shaping them, I wouldn't use a flat glue because it wouldn't hold the, the 3D shape. But just remember all the time that you've got that bend in the middle. So we can then just keep adding in little bits. I've had a just, question. Robin yep. says, what size cards do they make? Is it a five by seven? So let me just bend this one down. I don't want to press too hard. I've extended mine. So without it being extended, it is three and three quarters by about four and a half inches. But I've made mine three and three, nearly four inches, nearly four by six. Right. So Near too enough. wide to be a slimline card. Yeah. 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 But, you know, it's up to you. You can make them. And I'm going to show you how to make them completely different. We're going to do it as a um, gatefold card this afternoon. Oh, lovely. Um, and do something a little bit. Oh, this afternoon? This evening. This evening. I forget what time. It still feels like afternoon, doesn't it, when, it you, does, when you're doing yeah. these? When you, even though we're doing it at, like, 6 o'clock, because we don't start till 11, it feels like afternoon. I always... I always get confused and then well, you finish and and you look outside and it's eight o'clock at night and you go oh, how did that happen eh? well we did miss a trick because i have noticed um that today is national ice cream for breakfast day why and didn't you tell me that before well if i'd known you know there we are having our healthy breakfast and we should have been having a 99 yeah um i don't know if there are any ice cream vans nearby but if you're if you're just waking up and you're not entirely sure what to have for breakfast ice cream is the way to go apparently Oh, there's an what ice cream. What ice cream would you have for breakfast? There's an ice cream farm just up the shop, up the road, isn't there, Charlotte? We oh, went there. Uh, yeah, me, Charlotte, and Joe went between shows once. Oh, it's really oh. nice. Oh. Really, really good. Is it open today? I don't know. Could could we have ice cream later? We might be able to. Oh, how exciting! I can't remember what it's called, Charlotte. I've got. I did a social media post, so it'll be on there. Right, I'm just going to put a couple more. Oh, that one's not even stuck on. Let's put that on. And I'm going to leave it at that. But look at how many pieces I have 
got left. Yeah. So many pieces left. Right, let's leave it at that, and then I'm going to turn that round and show you. I'm not going to squeeze this one flat for now, but trust me, it will go flat again. That but is look, truly beautiful. Oops, I've lost one. Where's that gone? Let's pick it back out. There we go. This is why I like to use tweezers. There we go. Let's pop that on there. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't that absolutely... Mm. Look at the dimension. Now, those are show-stopping cards. Wouldn't anybody love to receive that? Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Um, I, I think the colours okay. in these are absolutely stonkingly good. Um, so to show you the, the board so you can see all the different colours, um, these are what you're going to be getting in that pack. So you're going to be able to make um, 20 complete cards, but you did see um, that you get far too many embellishments to put on there. So you'll be able to um, decorate other bits and pieces, you know, your envelopes, but using them for other things. And the colours are just absolutely beautiful. Really nice make. I might have to, I might have to order these. Lots of people loving what you're doing. Lots of people doing very well in the game. So well done. Lots of people, four out of five, five out of five. Oh, um, wow. So everyone's doing really well. Um, uh, Beth says, I really like the combination of that card. I do too. I think that teal and that sort of pale, sort of sugary pink is beautiful. Um, Robin was saying that that's the perfect size to, to mail the, the size of the card that yep. you've got there. And so I think lots of people are really enjoying those cards. They are absolutely lovely. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're doing with those later on today. We're going to go for the next round of the game. So hopefully, you know, you're rested, you have a cup of tea and an ice cream with you um, in order for you to sort of carry on with the next part of the game. Um, we've not got many people left have we that we could be you know that's, oh. that's possibly the way we're going to find out who's who's who this time we're going to assume we have to use the people that haven't been used so far and actually i can only think of a couple of people we haven't used so far so, can um, I. so we're going to carry on with the game so the second round so you just have to work out from the two, the picture who okay. the two um the two the two people are the two so far they've the all been on air yes um, yeah. faces. And we okay. think they all are going to be on there. Yeah. Um, but if you do watch our social, look at our social media, oh. you'll, you'll know, you'll recognise everybody anyway. So let's get going with the first one. <laughs> oh, OK. So right, we know who one is. Yeah. Again, I'm going to have to move across here and have a big peer. Oh, OK, yeah. I can see who that is. Can you? I can. I think you might need to go closer. I th oh, I can. I've just seen it. I could just see it. You know, and I turn my head, just so, right. Yeah. Has everybody, else, have we given everybody a chance? But yeah. yes. Hopefully the hair gives it away for the first one. The that hair one does give it away. The yeah. One. And okay. actually, when you get a little bit closer in, you can see who the other person, oh, I think you can anyway. I, I think Leanne and Sarah. I've got Sarah and Leanne, yeah. Yeah. As well. We write, excellent. Well done, there everybody. We go. You've got that right. Okay. I like this game. Yeah, because you're winning. Oh, yeah. Ooh, 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 oh, oh dear. Wow. OK, let's come round. Gosh, that is hard. It is. That is really hard. I... You don't want to get... You're scared of offending. <laughs> Well, I know who one is. Yeah. Who's the other? Have you got the other? No. That's really hard. I'm, oh God, I, I'm hoping that you're, you're at home, you're able to see who that is. I, actually, as I get closer to it, it looks more like an oil painting. It's very picture. clever, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you think it's someone behind the scenes? I, I sort of did. I'm going to go, and I could be really wrong, and I'm thinking... I think semi behind the scenes. You think it's... You think it's people behind the scenes? I think it's semi behind... So, who do you have? Do you have two? Yeah, but I, the second... I've got Lily and Brent. I've got Li... Ah! Yeah, I've got Lily and Ben. It, it was the eyebrows. Brent. Yeah, I didn't think about The Brent. eyebrows. The uh, eyebrows made me think of Brent. Yep. Because yep. I, know, I know they're, um, they're very specific eyebrows. They're sculptured. <laughs> they are. He has, he has got very good eyebrows. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about Brent. Ugh. 
Yeah. That's what I'm of saying, course. semi behind the scenes. Well done, everybody, Ooh. everyone that got that right. Lots of people saying Lily and Jake. Um, Lily and Brent, um, Lily and Becky. Um, Lily and Becky's got a few times. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't me. I'm Becky. It wasn't me. Uh, but it was Brent. So well done, everybody that got that right. So we're going to go for the next one now. I know. I think. I'm just going to get a bit closer. I know. OK. Do you see it? I think so. You're going to have to... My pen is getting paler and paler. Yeah, me too. Um... I, I say, I go, I know, of course I know. I think I know. Of course. Oh, but then, oh, hold on a minute. Are you then doubting I, yourself? Yeah, then you start doubting. I'm pretty certain. I'm, that's all I can see. Yes, it's the eyes. Those eyes, there's really? only one person whose eyes those could be. OK, well, I'm not, I, don't, I don't think I've got this one right. But I've gone for Debbie Fisher and Leanne. Exactly, that's oh. what I've got. We've got it right. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, I thought I was <laughs> going to get one back. <laughs> you well tricking done, me. Well done, everybody that got that me. right. Where are we up to? How many was that? That was eight. And what's the score, please, Charlotte? Five, eight. OK, so if I don't get this... If you get this one right, you've won. Yeah. And I'll do a little dance. Do we need to see that? No, no-one needs to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. Ooh! Oh, that's easy! <laughs> yeah. And... and... Come on! I mean, actually, I think that is... Um, Thank you. ..how that person should wear their hair all the time, I, I think. The male person. The male person, yeah. Um, well, I did suggest that rather than do Movember, um, you know, when everyone yeah. grows a moustache, they should just do no haircuts for two years, uh, two months, um, to see what everyone's hair looks like. Mm. Um, it'd be quite entertaining. I think, hopefully, everybody got this one. I'll have a look to see if we got I any... think everybody's seen both these people. I think you have. But whether yeah. everybody knows the name, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. So we're going to turn New around. hair, though. John and Nicola. John and Nicola. Yeah, yeah, hopefully you all got that. Well done if you did. Um, we've had John and Michelle, actually, and actually Michelle did have quite, quite red, red hair, hair at one yes. point. Um, Jake and Michelle, Michelle and John, John and Michelle, lots of people said um, Michelle. Don't so know when if Michelle got first Nicola. started here a year ago, she had proper red hair yeah. like that, didn't she? So yeah, yeah, she did, yeah. Um, so is this the last one? Yep. Last one. Again, oh, gonna... I can see that. It is. It does look like an actual person. And, and. Oh, well, um, I know one of them, but I'm not sure about the other. I'm not sure. I don't think I've. I think I've got one right, but I'm not sure about the other. Yeah. Actually, looks like one of my ex-boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is. Da -da, Becky, this is your life. <laughs> you haven't seen him for 25 years. <laughs> More than that, 30 years, I think. <laughs> and here he is today <laughs> on Crafters TV. That'd be quite weird, wouldn't it? It yeah, would. I don't quite know what I'd say. I have got Brent and Liam. I've got Brent, Brent and Jake. Liam's, Liam's jaw. Oh, Brent, Brent and Liam. Liam, well done. Do you know what? When I saw the picture of Liam there, I didn't recognise who he was. <laughs> That's a picture of Liam. I think they must have taken some pictures specifically well, yeah. for this. Seven, nine. Oh, well done, Becky. Yay! Well done, everybody on Facebook. Um, you're going to be five winners um, chosen at random. We'll let you know um, who they are in a, a moment. So thank you very much for joining with us. I that hope you enjoyed fun. that. I really like that. We, we should do that again. Yes. Um, I particularly like games that I can win, you know. Oh, shush now. <laughs> shush now. <laughs> oh. it's, um, I, it's always nice to see people, lots of people are messaging in and saying, and they've got, but lots of people said um, Michelle, actually. Michelle wasn't on. No. I don't remember seeing any Michelle. Um, we do have some winners already. So if I let you know who the winners are, the winners are Alison Lee, Val Lloyd, Suzette, 
um, Suzette Suze, Debbie Marshall Kern, and um, Nicole Stephan, or Stephen Nicole. Stephen Nicole. Um, if you're going to email in at prizes at crafterscompanion.com, um, then we will email you back with your voucher and well done. But well done to everybody. I think lots of people got a lot of them right, a lot of them correct. And what does that show? Oh, that Patty, they Brent's watch watching. Brent's watching. I know. I'm oh, sorry, he's Brent. very upset that you didn't get him. I'm sorry, Brent. You're always you're always on my mind. <laughs> you, and you should remember, Brent. I did give you a present yesterday when I saw you. So um, I, you know, what, I, what, I gave him a, I gave him the bag that I did oh, on the yes. um, craft along. The glam. Um, the glam bag. Um, he did say he wanted that. Um, and then um, when it, at the end, um, Tracy wouldn't let him have it. She said, "No, it's Becky's bag," and I gave it to him yesterday. Oh, that's so. okay. Then. Brent, you're always on my mind. I'm so sorry. Uh, but well done, I everybody. Um, hope you all enjoyed that. Now we're going to go to the vote for a demo of the show. So over to Corinne and show us your two yes. beautiful makes. Right, so the first one we did was with our sparkle pens. So we showed you how to colour with them, how to get the different lights and shades, and also to create the background. And then the second card was very, very quick um, because it was from our cascading card kit. So one or two. Excellent. Get your votes in. Very difficult to choose, I think. I like all the techniques you've shown us with that very first one, but I think yeah. the other card is really beautiful as well. Yeah, it nice depends what, what sort of style cards you like. Yeah, absolutely. So um, just to, to have a quick recap to show you these sparkle pens. Um, so over here, we've got five different packs, um, three in each. The ones in the centre are your clear sparkle pens, um, but the ones here you've got um, with all these sort of different brightly coloured um, colours, and you can see how vibrant those colours are. Um, so with this whole collection you'll be able to get all those different colors that you could possibly want obviously with those clear ones you can then sort of embellish anything else that you've done i think we're going to be showing showing you later on using aqua um aqua pens and using those as well um, so you can see how effective they are going to be um, so we've got um uh, later on today we're going to be doing color me happy and we are. Um, We've also got a craft along later on as well, haven't we? Yes, yes, oh, I know. I've got so many shows down there, I'm trying to remember. You've got loads of boxes all around you with all of the stuff in, haven't you? Yes, I have. Right, I just want to show you a couple of things. Now, look at this. Look at how you can create the most amazing backgrounds with these. And then the fox has been coloured as well. So he's been diluted down to get that paler shade. But you can still get your light and shade tones. But look at that background. Isn't that beautiful? They are amazing for... Uh, that's you essential brights for creating those backgrounds mm. on there. So, oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Just create those lovely colour washes. You can colour in, that's been heat embossed and then coloured. Oh, so lovely. that's pretty, isn't it? Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Just creating a gorgeous background and then using one of our stencils to go on there. A background, now, this has been made into a shaker card. There we go. But look at that. Just doing that lovely colour wash and creating those new colours where the colours overlap, which I think is beautiful. Once it's dry, start um, die cutting into it. There's a lot of backgrounds created using these because they just work so perfectly. But what you can also do is stamp with them. And we will stamp with them this afternoon. Now, I didn't know this. They go on to vellum. So oh, really? look at that. That looks like it's been letter pressed with them. Would so that I'd take a little bit longer for it to dry? It would be. Right. Heat embossed image on vellum, coloured and then coloured it and then um, double heat embossed the sentiment as well. Wow. Now this one is beautiful. Look at that. So that's completely different. More sort of what I'd call controlled splats. Okay, so how so, do you do that kind of So that it'll be just done on the glass mat, I would oh, right, imagine. Okay. I'm guessing so. Um, I think it will have been. Or maybe you should put an, ah, I wonder, put a bit of ink on there and then blow, use oh, okay. it and blasted it, you know, with an air. A straw. Yeah, a straw or an air canister. Yeah. And then coloured, using the same ones to colour the butterfly. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? So, so many different ways. They are so, so versatile. They're water-based, so remember to use your waterproof ink, just like we did there with the finesse. But once you've done that, because that's what we've done on this one, is over-stamped, you would always use your waterproof ink pad, just in case there was any residue water. Use your um, watercolour cardstock, and then you just enjoy making different techniques with them. If you used an ink pad and then you heat embossed it... Yeah, that would work too. That would work too. That's so been done on... Do, 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 I did have one. There, that's one's been done. 
We're still doing it on the water um, colour card right. because we're going to we're effectively water colouring in, but we've heat embossed in gold on there first. Yes. Wow. Okay. That, that's really effective. There's it so is. many you can, and I, I love the fact that they're so highly pigmented that you can sort of have it really, really dark or really vibrant, and then sort of draw out that colour either using the, that clear sparkle pen or using the paintbrush. I think it looks really super effective. We do have um, a winner for demo of the show. Oh yes. And it is. Which one do you think it would be? I think it's going to be one. You're right. Absolutely. I it would. And I think because you're showing all those different techniques with it, I think it makes it. Um, I mean, I, I, honestly, I think that's so inspiring because everyone's got a stamp at home Ooh. that you, you know, perhaps no, don't, don't often use. use. Yeah. Um, and actually, using all that kind of background to it is is really lovely. When we had um, we had some like watercolor background papers, didn't we, a little while ago, mm -hmm. and they they sold really well. But being able to make your own kind of yeah, sort of exactly. splattered um, watercolor backgrounds is um, also really really good. Um, so well done to everybody that joined in with the games. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, we're going to um, be doing Color Me Happy a little bit later on. I'm going to be doing more with those sparkle pens and the glitter pens. Um, as well so do have a look at those on the website but do also have a look at that cascading cars i think the colors that we've got in that um, collection are absolutely beautiful and it would make a really good gift for somebody who's getting started with their paper craft um, or actually from my point of view i just want all those embellishments yes because yeah. i would be using those on all sorts of different things exactly so that would be my my go-to item um, do hope you enjoyed the show. Um, I hope you're going to be enjoying your ice cream, if that's what you're having for your breakfast. That is what I want to eat now. Um, in fact, I used to work for a big ice cream company, and that's what I always used to have for my breakfast. Did you? Ice cream in the morning, yeah. And I was thin, you know, back in the day when you could eat ice cream and not have to worry about it. And people would come in to me and say, I bet you're bored for having ice cream every day. Are you mad? No, it's the best thing ever. Best, best opportunity to have um, ice cream for breakfast. Um, so I'm going to take full advantage of that. I'm going to pop out and go and get some ice cream. Um, but I hope you enjoy the show. We will see you back in a couple of hours' time. And um, we'll get started with Colour Me Happy. Thanks very much.